So, Ari, you see that, which is a lot of gloom and doom, but there is, uh, the video is seven minutes long. Unfortunately, we couldn't play all of it. It goes on to list all of the accomplishments that the president has made legislatively while in office. And, of course, we have the unveiling of the new slogan, Forward. So, a look back, but an emphasis towards the future. Yeah, I think the rational mind looks at that video and says, here's that counterfactual historical argument about what might have been if you had a different response, and the president's response was the best under the circumstances, and they were good to make that. But I think the emotional response, because elections are also about emotion and not just things that you can spell out in, in words and ideas, the emotional response is be very afraid. It's economic fear. We've had other elections on security fear. And the fear there is suggesting the idea that the Republican Party and Mitt Romney are not looking out for you. So in these tough times, you should be afraid of what the future would be under an alternative leader. Well, and that's exactly what President Clinton said, stumping for President Obama yesterday. Uh, he says he's gotten, a, speaking of uh, President Obama, he says he's got an opponent who basically wants to do what they did before on steroids, which will get you the same consequences you got before on steroids. Yeah. Uh, I think it's also important to note, as we talk about the shifting sort of messaging strategy of Team Obama, looking at what the Romney camp is doing. And we have sort of word from Team Romney that they're going to be focusing less on the red meat conservative issues and, and not trying to touch abortion and immigration. Certainly the president and I would say uh, Republicans in state houses across the country are not doing a great job of helping to avoid those issues. I mean, uh, what a surprise. He's not coming out for mandatory <laughs> ultrasounds <laughs> weekly for women. Um, I mean, this is what the whole Etch-a-Sketch debate was about a couple, a couple weeks ago. And, I, you know, the, it will make his base restive. And, you know, remember about a week or two back, it was Bill Clinton and other people's advice to Team Obama. Hey, you know, you've been portraying him as a flip-flop without core, but you've got to make sure that people don't forget that during the campaign, he called called himself severely conservative. And going back to Ari's point, that conservative economic policy, which people associate with Bush and the Bush years, partly can be blamed for what got us to this point. So reminding people that, it, that he's severely conservative while being a flip-flopper. Only Mitt Romney can achieve this. Well, it's not a, it's a good strategy.